Hello kids! Welcome to our lesson for this week 6. So we are now in week 6 of our lesson in quarter 1, science 4. And for the main topic, our objective is all about to identify issues and concerns in the local community and how they could be addressed by science such as the treatment of waste. So for this first day, we have to meet this objective. You should be able to identify changes in the materials that are useful and harmful to the environment. Everybody, as you all know, based from our previous lesson, we have learned or you have learned that the, there are different materials which are found in the community or environment. And these materials undergo changes which could be beneficial and harmful to the environment. Have you remembered those physical and chemical changes? Alright, very good. So, let us have this simple activity. I gave you already a flaglet that means fact and another flaglet which means bluff. You are going to raise the fact flaglet if it is useful changes and bluff pluglet if it is harmful changes let's begin number one all right very good next number good so let us now have another activity i have here an activity sheet and please get one by one to those who don't have you can have this presentation or look here in the powerpoint Okay, you may begin. This time, let us read this all together. Good. Another one. Alright, let us have another task. So, what can you say about this? Useful or harmful? Okay, this one. Let's go back. Okay, identify if it is useful or harmful. You can just say it based on the pictures. Okay, let's answer these guide questions. Very good. So, all together, let us read. Yes, could be beneficial and harmful. Do you have any more questions? If none, please answer these questions. Okay, you may now answer this. Next, number three. All right. Next number, number seven, up to number ten. Good. So, that ends our discussion. So for our day two, once again, welcome children. So let us have this learning objective. Please read. Okay, good. So let us now read this one. I will call somebody. Louder your voice. All right. Good. So the lesson for today is all about identifying the harmful effects of the changes in the materials on the environment. Please read all together. Alright, analyze this one. Okay, answer please. I will give you again another activity sheet. Okay, answer this class. So for day 3, this is now the topic or the objective that you have to meet. Choose one. Very good. So, for you to have more ideas, let us have a video which is all about our topic. I want you to watch this and listen carefully because afterwards, there will be questions. Here are the questions. Read. Alright, I'll just be flashing it. Yes, another video. Alright, for day 4, 
It is now all about addressing environmental issues and concerns in the local community by science. So based from our lesson for the past three days, we are now going to find out how are we going to solve those identified environmental issues. But first, of foremost, first and foremost, do you have any idea about this? Let us read these words. Land pollution, water pollution, and air pollution. Do you have any idea? Very good. How about this one? Yes, thank you. So let us now discuss this topic. And this one is all about what are the things that we can do to solve our issues in our waste materials. So we can do this by having the five R's of responsible waste management. Reduce, reuse, reuse. All right, then we have the recycle. You can read this. There you go. Recycle. Then we have the repair. Then rot. Or sometimes they call this as recover. So in some books. So again, what are those five R's in solid waste management? Very good. So this time, let us have this learning activity sheet. Okay, let's do this activity. So answer these questions. Thank you for answering. So this time, let us now have the performance, ta per performance task. Please read and please make this. Okay, get your paper and let us answer this questions. Please answer now. So thank you for watching and see you in the next week. Good luck and God bless to all. If you want if you want to have the soft copy of this kindly check the description of this video. I hope this one will help you especially to our teachers and students.